Hi, it's Linda with CreativePLR.com. So recently I showed you how to make those nice frames in Canva, um, and you could make custom frames. And somebody wrote and asked, um, where else could you get shapes? Well, one easy way to get shapes is to insert in PowerPoint, um, to insert an icon. And some icons work better than others. Um, this acorn would work pretty good. Uh, because it's all but mostly black. And so you'll see some of these don't work as well. If they've got like, mm, that unhappy face would work pretty good. I've used the apple. Um, the numbers might be okay because there's very little that's white in there. But basically you want something that's um, mostly dark, that's filled in with black. Um, the baseball player would work. The bat would work. Um, the bear would work. And so you insert it and you'll see it's really little. And so what you have to do is you have to make it bigger because we want a bigger frame. And of course you can adjust the size. I'm using a PowerPoint. My background is letter size eight and a half by 11, but you're going to make this a PDF so you could upload it any way you want. And I'm going to click, since I'm using an icon, I'm going to click convert to shape and I'm going to do that for all of these. I'm going to, they're in a graphics format. I'm going to convert them to shape. And what's really nice is, you know, you've got a really good icon to use for this process. If when you convert it to a shape, it's one shape. Now, when we did the, um, when we did the acorn, the acorns in two shapes, that still works pretty good. The squirrel is probably going to be in one shape. And that works good. And I've got a bunny. That's one shape, and I've got the chef's hat. Let's make this a little bit larger. Graphics format, convert to shape. Okay, so that's in two pieces. So what we want to do is we want to now fill these because um, we fill them with paper. We don't fill them with a color, and I think it's the same paper I've been using. And I'm not even going to tile it because that paper is not going to stay the same. I'm going to um, just fill these so I can make my PDF and then upload it over to Canva. And I'm going to speed this up just a little bit so that I can. I'm going to save the file because before I convert it to a PDF, it likes um, the file saved first. And then I'm going to save it as a PDF. And I've called this icons. Okay, and so here's my PDF. So now I'm going to take my PDF over to Canva and when you upload, right here in this big, it has this upload button. And I'm going to upload my file that says icons that I just made. And it's uploading the file now. And so I'm going to go over and pull it over. And you notice the minute that it pulls, you can see. And then I'm going to do what I did before. I'm going to um, double click on the part that's filled and then delete. So I'm double clicking, deleting, double clicking, deleting, double clicking, and deleting. And I have a bunch of new frames and you can resize them or do anything you want with them. Um, I don't know. Let's see. I can fill them with a photo. This is a bunny, so let's make it an Easter photo. Here we go. Chef's hat, some kind of food. If you're doing a recipe book or a cookbook or you're posting on Instagram, wouldn't that be cute to have it in the shape? Squirrel, let's do the squirrel with food too. Acorn. Um, 
crisp food background. Let's do fall for the squirrel, for the acorn, and the apple. There you go. So you have custom frames. You can change them out, and you could save a whole bunch of these custom frames so that you could use them at any time. And have fun!